Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. And this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you like this content and you wanna support me, I have all the ways to do that in my description box on this video. Readings, courses, Patreon, all that information, blogs, all of that. Or if you wanna just hit subscribe, if, again, if you like the content, of course, uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. That's the wind picking up outside. We gotta notice, like we're gonna have like almost hurricane force winds <laughs> coming in today. Gotta love Colorado on the front range. Okay, agate healthy body. You're figuring out what your body needs. Immediately what I think of is when we have all of this messaging out in the world, like you shouldn't eat this and you shouldn't eat that. I wanna put a call out to all the vegans and vegetarians out there. I'm so sorry for what I'm about to say. But I've tried those lifestyles and just the way my hormones are and all this stuff, some of the needs, you know, I was getting anemic and talked to my doctor. We discussed what the right kind of protein was for me. Yeah, not going overboard, but it was animal products. I'm sorry. Okay. If I can get to a place where I don't need that anymore, I would love to do that. But, you know, sometimes in the moment you need that. Or if you remember the 90s and you are stuck in the 90s. Remember the 90s? Processed food that's low fat. That's going to be great for you. That won't mess up your metabolism. It's fine. Drink all the Diet Coke you can. <laughs> you know, we're realizing, no, we need healthy fats. Hot tip. You know what I had for breakfast today? Let me tell you. Let me tell you real quick. I had it was a little, well, okay. So I had wheat bread. I was going to say something, but I don't want to get controversial. Um, you'll know who I'm talking about or who I just thought of. But um, <laughs> wheat bread, I love to put a little olive oil, just a tiny little sprinkling on top of the toast. And then if I can, I can put some power greens, just a thin layer, avocado, chia seeds. And I like to put hot sauce on top, a little bit of sea salt. It's, it's my favorite. Okay, and I've loaded things up and your body can't absorb vitamins unless you have the healthy fats. So it's just stuff like that where you're, you know, in order to get to your healthy body, you're going to realize, okay, I need to take a different approach to my nutrition. Or if you're like me and you, you're you like in your mid 40s, but you think you're still in your early 30s. I used to do yoga like nobody's business. I was terrible at it at first, but then I started really getting into it. I could do vinyasa like a couple times a day if I wanted to. I was like, oh, so bendy. Like, look at me. So fit. And then I tried to, <laughs> I should have filmed this so y'all could see it. I tried to do yoga the other day and the pops and the creaks and the, ooh, oh God. At one point, I didn't think I was going to be able to get off the floor. I was scared. Okay. My lower back was not doing great. Maybe I've overshared here because um, I don't want people to know the truth about my crusty, dusty way of life. <laughs> like, how I can't even do yoga anymore. It'll get better if I get back into it. It's mostly hiking and doing workouts at home. I just haven't done yoga. But it's that kind of stuff, like honoring where your body is. Hiking's a perfect example. I always say I'm going to do winter hiking. I open the door. The wind blows. It's cold. It's snowing. I'm like, ew. And I go back in, right? So now that it's spring and I'm going to hit the trail again, I can't just go back. I can't go out there and do a 14er. No, like, no, I'm going to have to start on a flat surface <laughs> and probably still be huffing and puffing. So just take it easy on your body. Feel out what is right for you. Okay. We're going to leave it there. Send you all so much love and take care.